There are two types of jobs, least stressful and most stressful, with their salaries displayed on the graph plotted in Annex A. Here is Annex A, okay? Now it says use the information on Annex A and answer the questions that follow. So let's just quickly check here. These are the most stressful jobs. So we've got things like being a firefighter. That is stressful. When you're in a building, that's pretty stressful. Um, a police and a patrol officer, that's stressful because it's dangerous. You might have, you know, people robbing a bank and you have to go like shoot them and it can get quite dangerous. Um, a corporate executive, yep, there's a lot of pressure on them. A surgeon, if you're doing surgery, that can be very stressful. If you're doing like a heart surgery, for example. Uh, being a waiter, yep, that could be, you could get really like, you know, um, clients or, or people at your restaurant that are not very friendly, they're very rude. And, and guys, I'm gonna take this time and just, you know, I've, I've observed the world around me and you know some people are just really rude to other people and we, we we never know what the people around us are actually going through so do your best to never be rude to people of course you and your friends can sometimes tease each other I know how you guys are in high school I remember being in high school it can get ruthless at times when you're teasing your friends like <laughs> but as long as you know there's that understanding that we're friends and we're just teasing each other. But I'm talking about like, um, like I saw a video the other day on social media where um, this these people, they arrive at a petrol station and the lady, it's a lady who's busy putting the petrol into their car and, then, and they're driving a very fancy car. It's like a, it's, it's a beautiful car. And the person who's asking to put the petrol in um, the driver of the car, or the, the person at the, one of the passengers, um, after the petrol gets put into the car, they just open the window and they just chuck the money on the floor. And the, the, the lady, the petrol attendant, you actually see in the video when they drive off, she starts crying. And it's things like that, guys, like being rude to people. Um, or, you know, if you... If you go into, I don't want to go into more examples, but just be aware that you just try to be as loving as you can to the world around you and not to be self-absorbed absorbed into your own mind and life and think that you are the most important person. Don't ever have that mindset. Um, if you want to be someone who's working hard and you want to like be wealthy and stuff, that's very, that's great, but do it in a good way. Don't have this arrogant mindset where you're better than everyone. So yeah, I don't know if anyone needed to hear that, but just be loving to the world around you and your life will be a lot more happy. Okay, so um, how did I get onto that? Oh, stressful jobs. Oh yes, a waiter could have bad clients. Yeah, so if you go out to a restaurant, be friendly to the waiter. Don't see them as there to serve you. They are there to serve you, but you can also just meet them at a human level, okay? Um, you can treat them with love and you can be friendly to them and not, you know, they're not, you're not better than them. You're never gonna be better than anyone. So just remember that. No matter what you've achieved in life, you are not better than anyone, okay? Um, so, yeah. Right, So um, so, so I challenge you, even people who, um, for example, if you've got your waiter or anyone in life, whether it's the person putting petrol in, treat them like they're the most important person in the world and watch how you put a smile on their face. And that's amazing. So it says, um, use the information on Annex A um, and answer the questions that follow. Identify another type, okay, so it says here, identify another type of graph, graph that can be used to display um, the stressful jobs salaries. Okay, identify another type of graph that can be used to display the stressful job salary. Okay, well, what we've learned about is that we get two types of data. You get discrete and you get continuous. Now, discrete is data that you can count, whereas continuous is data that you measure. Now, when you're looking at someone's salary, that is not counting, that is measuring. When you say counting, that's like when you count the number of cars driving past. But when you measure, then it's things like height, salary, weight, things like that. So when you, when you have continuous data, the two main ways that we show it on graphs is a line graph, which is what we have here. And then we can also use histograms. 
Histograms are the ones that don't have any gaps between the bars. Ooh, what happened there? Sometimes there's a gap in between this part here at the first place. So we could go with a histogram. If it was con um, discrete data, then we usually use a bar graph or the, something like a pie chart. Okay, so it says identify from the graph two jobs that deal with health issues. Identify from the graph. Okay, so it's any graph, hey? Okay, yep. So health issues. Well, um, okay, I just want to read all of them. Da -da 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 okay. Okay, well, I guess a surgeon. Yeah, that could be something related to a health issue. And then an optometrist with your eyes. That could also be related to a um, health issue. So I would go with surgeon and optometrist. And then another one could be, uh, where did I say it? Oh, yeah, a biomedical engineer. See, it's got the word medical in it. They do deal with medical things. So biomedical engineer. This question says, determine the probability as a percentage of randomly selecting an employee earning a salary of more than $70,000. Okay, so it says, determine the probability of randomly selecting. Okay, so let's, so they're not telling us how many people are in each job, but we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've got 20 types of jobs and it says what is the probability of randomly selecting an employee who earns more than 70,000? Well, out of the 20 different types of jobs, so we know probability, you always put the total at the bottom. Now we need to go find all the people who earn more than 70,000, so all the kinds of jobs. So this one, for example, earns 41,000. This one is 49,000. This one's 105, so we'll choose that one. One, two, three, four, then we won't choose any of those because they're all lower than 70,000. This one's higher, 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 and this one's higher. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to say 12 out of 20 multiplied with 100 because they've asked us as a percentage. So go ahead, type that all in and you should get 60%, 60%. This last one says, convert the highest salary on the least stressful jobs, okay? So the least stressful jobs, let's just get rid of this. The highest salary is this one. What is that? That is for a optometrist, oh wow, okay. Um, now you might think an optometrist earns more than a surgeon, but remember, this is using a different scale. This one's going 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. This one's going 50, 100, 150. So the surgeon's 302,000. The optometrist is 106,000. Okay, so don't let that ever mislead you. You must always look carefully. So it says convert the highest salary, which is this one, um, on the least stressful jobs graph to the nearest million, given that $1 is 18 rand and 42 cents. So what they're saying is that this is measured in dollars. Can you see here, US dollars. So this person earns 106,960 US dollars per year. These are per year, guys. Um, I know they didn't say so, but trust me, those are those are per year. So um, $106,960. They want us to convert that to Rand. Now we know that $1 is 18 Rand 42. So all we're going to do is just multiply this by 18.42. Okay, and that's going to give us, sure, it's quite a nice salary per year, um, 1970203.20, but now they've asked it for the nearest million. So is that going to go to, one, this is 1.9 million. So that's very close to 2 million. So we will round that off to 2 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that's, so the optometrist is earning 2 million rand per year. For those of you that are interested, um, on a monthly basis, that's about 167,000. That's pretty decent. <laughs> so um, that's it. 